Hello, everyone. You know who it is, and you know what it is, okay? Look around. That's right, it snowed a crap load. In fact, it's about three degrees out here today. And that provides a golden opportunity to fish. I know you gotta be asking yourself, what the hell is he talking about? Well, you're about to find out. Today I procured maybe the greatest guide in the history of guiding fish tours. His name is Terry Topwater. We're gonna go pick him up and we are gonna go and show you guys how to catch just about any species in any weather under any conditions regardless of anybody's opinion about how barometric pressure and atmospheric conditions influence whether or not you can actually catch fish the amount of fish you can catch the quality of fish you can catch we're gonna prove to you son that you can catch fish any old time so what you need to do is come along with us in just a second i'll introduce you to terry topwater as soon as we go pick him up and you will come on one of the greatest adventures that you have ever been on in your life how's that sound son Here we go. Hey, is this Terry? Hold on, I gotta put you on speaker. Yeah, Terry. 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 Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Okay, good, good, good. I just, I was hoping that we're still on for today. Uh, I just figured I'd give you a buzz and see if you were up and about and if you were ready to rock and roll or... Just wait for you to get here. Okay, uh, I'm just hoping the fishing, I know you assured me that it would happen, but I, I'm just hoping the fishing is a lot better than the roads. The roads are just treacherous. Okay, so you're guaranteeing that we're gonna catch pretty much anything we want in these conditions. I gotta tell you, I've heard, of, everybody's heard of you, Terry Topwater, I mean the name speaks for itself as a guide in the, well, in the world, but in particular in these parts of Colorado. Um, you know, if you were going out with anybody else, I think you don't have a shot to tell Okay. Because you're going with me. The sky's the limit. You want it? I look forward to it, man. I, the, the the venerable one, Terry Topwater. I'll be there shortly. I'm just getting onto I-25, and I should be there in about 15 or 20 minutes. All right. All right. See you soon, Terry. Terry out. Bye bye. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna show you the roads here. They are treacherous. Um, I don't normally. I wouldn't normally do this, but and this is very dangerous. Children, do not attempt this at home trying to uh, drive and videotape in this kind. I'm all over the road. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm swerving and it is very, very dangerous. As I've said before, if you can preclude yourself from driving in these conditions, do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend people fishing in this weather unless you have, you know, the almighty Terry Topwater on your side. And that's the only reason I'm braving these elements is because I believe he's gonna probably put me onto one of the most spectacular fishing days that I've ever had. So I didn't even want to bring micro jigger out in this. It's, it's, it's terrible. Colorado Department of Transportation hasn't had an opportunity to get out here and clear, clear the roadways and it's bad. It, it, it really does show as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can, yeah, I think you can see that. But it is just, it, snow pack is an understatement. It's about four to six inches of standing snow in the roads. I tried to give you a little B-roll. I'm gonna I hope that Terry will indulge me in shooting some of my B-roll for me. I just didn't feel real confident in trying to drive and shoot B-roll for you guys. But stick around. Next time you see me, Terry will be in the car or I'll be on his stoop. See you in a minute. Okay, we are supposedly here come with me up there put the beast in park and we'll head on up there and uh we'll meet terry topwater for the first time this is a uh, nerve-wracking and exciting all at once so if you don't mind come along hello hey topwater i think i'm outside of your house right now All right, sounds good. All right, the fans are gonna meet you at the same time I do, buddy. 
There he is. Hey, how are you doing? Terry Topwater, how the hell are you? Pleasure to meet you. There he is, look at that. Yeah, what's, uh, look at that, that's Topwater. I know I'm your tour guide today, but what's your name again? My name is <laughs> Macro Jigger. Macro? Yeah, that's right. Macro. Colorado Jiggers, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. All right, you. well, we're gonna continue the formalities here in a minute, and I'll let him talk directly to the camera and tell you what we're gonna accomplish today, so. It's a pleasure meeting you there, Topwater. You too. Be back in a second. All right, again, my name's Terry Topwater. And the guy holding the camera. What's your name again? It's Macro Jigger. Macro, macro, macro. yeah. All right, yeah. Macro. Yep. All right, we're gonna do some exciting stuff today. <clears throat> you look around and you see a foot of snow, nothing doing on me, buddy. We are gonna go to, some, uh, to one little place, little freshwater pond, best fucking saltwater fishing you're ever gonna see. Okay. We're gonna fire some things around, and you know what? When we're done, we just might have lunch on the edge of the water, but we'll see. We'll be back in a second. Uh, we're just gonna get in the car and hopefully I can talk Topwater into shooting some of my B-roll while we're driving down the road. Anyway, stick around. Exciting things to come. I can't wait. There he is, Topwater. He's about to get into there, the beast. And we will see you in a minute. Come on, man. What are you doing in there? You're f***ing around. Here he is, Topwater. You know who it is. And we got Chuck D with us too. How's that sound, son? So, we're here now. We're gonna go ahead and get some of our gear and we're gonna head over to the lake. Yeah, what, what's the name of this lake, by the way? Doolittle. It's my Doolittle Pond. So, how many poles do you think we should take? Oh, we only need two. One for you, one for me. Wow. Size of the line don't matter. Okay. Size of the hooks don't matter. Well, okay. We can tie an anchor to this thing. We're gonna pull some fish in. This guy has some confidence. I like this guy. Follow me. You can't lose. Terry Tapwater. Top. Oh, top, 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 top water. You That's know, right. You're paying a lot of money for this. You figured you'd, you'd remember my name. Who said I? I, didn't, I thought you were just coming along. Yeah, I thought. I thought. Uh, you might want to turn that off. We have a uh, chat we need to have. I have to pay you. A whole lot. Well, I guess we'll have to talk about this because I didn't really bring any cash. Are we gonna do this or what? I'm hungry. Okay, let's go. What'd you say the name of this place was? Doolittle. Okay, well, they, I always like to show the signage of the place we go to. It says Doolittle. Doolittle? It's Doolittle. Mm. Do little. Do little. Keep walking. Huh? Are we going the right way? Yeah. We'll see you when we get uh, geared up and we actually start doing some fishing here. Stick around. Here we are, Colorado Jiggers, I'm Macro Jigger, that's Terry Topwater. We're about to get rigged up. I'm not seeing a lot, as you can see, a lot of open water, but Terry says- Irrelevant. It, okay, he says it's irrelevant. So we're gonna rig up and we're gonna get out there and hopefully we'll be onto some fish in no time. Is that what you're saying? Every cast? Five or, minutes, every cast. That's the way we like it. So as soon as we get rigged up, we'll be right back with you. Now, Terry, do you want to tell everybody what you were telling me on the ride over about, you say that you have your own special thing that you do. <clears throat> if you don't mind, <clears throat> explain to the Colorado Jigger fan base here what exactly you have going on. Here. Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly what my concoction is. Okay. There are secret recipes in here, secret ingredients that uh, pretty much nobody needs to know anyway. Okay. But what I do is I take my hooks and, mind you, red hooks. Red hooks. Red hooks. They confuse the crap out of these fish. Any saltwater fish you see out here, confused by red hooks. 
So you take your red hook, you just dip it. You're not trying to clump bait on here and get a big old chunk of bait out here. You just dip it, cast it, and you're catching fish. That's where the magic happens. What we should do is why don't we get one of the rigs and show everybody out there in fan, in fan world, fan land, what exactly the process is. Do you mind doing that, Terry? We can do that. Okay. So as you can see, um, I guess a, a intact bobber isn't really important either. No, no, what you do is it's open for a reason. Okay. We have to pack it full of snow. Okay. Close it back up, okay. makes it invisible out there. Okay. So you don't really want to smell this. Okay. You just dip your hook. And what did I just tell you? <laughs> What is, why is in it, there? Why is it people don't listen? Terry, you don't want to smell this, and I'm not telling you what's in here. That can't be legal. All right, now I don't do this for everybody. Most people don't have any idea what I keep in here, but I know the right kind of people, and I have the right kind of connections. Show the camera. I want to see that stuff. Can I figure it out by looking at it? What's in there? Uh, I, I really don't think so. Okay. Because there's one secret ingredient that. Well, you know, do you isn't, mind if I turn it? Yeah, I want, really, I want to get that right up there by the... It there is you go. gnarly looking stuff, people. <clears throat> Plutonium-235. What? That f***'s radioactive? It catches fish. Uh, it's not what you it know. It catches cancer. It's who you know. I didn't say it wouldn't cause cancer. I said it catches fish. You know that old term, safety first? That does not apply here. Oh. All right, give me that goddamn hook. Okay. And you just dip it in like that, That's huh? it. Is it okay to touch that stuff? I probably don't want to touch it with your bare skin. Okay. But now watch what happens. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have a public service announcement. Safety is an issue while you're out here because, you know, you don't want to get malaria or anything else. Bug spray. Mandatory on all my expeditions. That's it. We're good. Let's fish. Remember how I told you how healthy this, this lake is? Terry's hooked up, by the way. Topwater has one on. Healthy, okay. healthy lake right here, man. Take a look. Get that camera out there, man. Look at that. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. You can't beat that. Take that, Peric. I just caught that on a piece of lettuce. In the mouth. That's a five-pound smallmouth on lettuce. What is it? It's a salad. We're having salad today. And if that's not healthy, I don't know what is. Are you gonna throw it back? Um, you see that cooler? I don't throw anything back. Everything goes home. And you know what? We're having lunch out here today too. Hold still. We get another one all we'll be back we got one we got another one terry says he's on terry's got one I, on i don't generally oh, this is heavy it's a big boy i don't generally uh, so you gonna flip him uh, i'm gonna try and get it up here uh, all right now I don't generally keep these things because, well, it's not my style. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Guess we'll get you when we get another one. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, Terry. All right, what do you got? What do you got cooking? What is, what is, what is that? Uh, throw that crap back right now. This fishing expedition will be over quick. All 
right, fish on. Okay, Terry, Terry's got one on. Come on now, come on now. Oh, all right. I'm the type of guide that don't catch a fish. I catch a school of fish. That's good snack time right there. We're gonna hang on to that. Right there, look at that. There's gotta be at least 30 or 40 fish in there. Never seen anybody do that before, have you? No. Okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. I got All right, what, you, what do you got? Get that bad boy in here. Oh, it's big, dude. It's oh, yeah, that's a pole bender. Now we're talking. What did I tell you about saltwater fish in this thing? It came on pin right at the shore. That, hey, did you get it? You got it out of the water, didn't you? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, this is a keeper for sure, man. Yep, get that in the cooler. You know, while we're doing this, Terry, how often do I need to rebait or re-dip my hook? You only need to dip that thing one time. Okay. Once. All right. It seems to be pretty productive. I just wanted to make sure that the production would continue. Oh yeah, it's gonna be nonstop. Okay. Now, like I said, it, it's my turn. Watch this. He guarantees a catch on this cast. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. All right. Let's I guarantee a catch on every cast. Watch this. Looks like you might have one on, huh? You got one? Oh, yeah, I got one. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Let's see what you got. Is it big? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, what I tell you? Salt water, baby. Salt water. Looks like we're gonna be eating good. It's the only way we eat when we fish here. We eat good. You weren't lying about that. I'm very surprised at how that, uh, your secret sauce is working out. I just... My secret sauce is the greatest thing on earth. The only thing you need to know is plutonium, 235. I think you're hot shit, Terry. You ain't shit. Watch this cast. Oh yeah, I, I'm on, I'm on. I'm you got on. something? I'm on. Come on, show me what you got. You get that You get that up here? Oh yeah. This is fighting different than what I've, you know. What, what, oh my God. I haven't seen one of those in like 15 years, man. That's unheard of. Is that a smart one Mexican meal? I guess. Oh damn, and it swallowed the hook? Oh, uh, it broke me off, it broke me off. It broke oh, it broke the line and yeah, swallowed the hook. Right at the shore. I mean, it happens like that sometimes, guys. <coughs> this is why you stay persistent. This is why you just keep getting out here. Weather doesn't, he was right. Weather doesn't matter. Barometric pressure, nothing. Nothing really matters. I mean, you are catching like crazy. I've never had a day like this, Terry. I gotta thank you, I really do. Absolutely. So we want- I you am the greatest fishing guide on earth. The, uh, do you want me to put this in the well? I mean, you want me to put it in I, the- I want that in the cooler, because right. we're gonna be killing that later. I'm, I'm hooked up again, you got, All right, what did I tell you? What did I tell you every cast here? You can't go wrong, man. Uh, what do you got there, Jigger Man? Oh, now, now we're talking, now we're talking. You can catch anything in this pond. I didn't believe you before we got here, but it's that red hook and the secret bait. Somehow. That's what I'm telling you. You want to keep it? Yeah, we should hang on to that because that'll go with lunch nicely. That's a good score right there. That is a good score. What's next after the? I mean, we we've, we've been doing so great. What do you need to go with lunch? Oh, I don't know. I mean, you never. I'm not the one. You say. I mean, you know more about this than anything. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, just fire something out there. No! Oh, God! Oh sh! Shit. What did you oh, do? God. Jesus, you oh, moron! Oh sh! You oh, dumb son of a! God. Look at this! Oh, stupid! You! Oh my God! 
Get that thing out of there. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got I mean, uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. I got to I got to get something. You okay, dude? Jeez. This isn't funny, dude. Knock it. Get this uh, thing out of my uh, ear. Uh, okay, I'll be back in just a second. We got to get this thing out. Get it out okay, of there. Okay, I got the I got the pliers get. here. Hey, man, I'm not uh, I'm not really a get it qualified. out of hold, my ear. Hold on a second. Now. Uh, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Oh, man, this is going to hurt dude oh i'm sorry man i'm sorry okay, that isn't dude, even funny hey man i'm really sorry i am son really of a sorry. oh you like that you son of a Damn, Jesus. Oh, what the you like that Not it doesn't feel good does it i think you broke my nose man <clears throat> whatever we got fishing to do uh, can I bleed a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit, but got lunch to catch. Uh, man, I told you I was sorry, man. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Man, I'm sorry, dude. Jeez. Yeah, that's what you get, buddy. I'm losing a lot of blood here, man. Yeah, it's it's chilly out here, though. It'll coagulate nicely. It'll stop bleeding. We got fishing to do. Is it bad? Uh, yeah, you're 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 a mess, bro. Don't break the fishing pole. Man, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you're fine. All right. I just like to fish today, so clean your Is up. Is there a bunch? Yeah, it's all over your chin and your mouth and your nose. Hey, you want to stop bleeding for a second? I got a fish on over here. All right, let me get it. What do you got, man? What do you got? It's okay. heavy, but it's lunch, baby. All right. Let's see if I can get it up here. Come on, you. Yes. That, you know what that is, right? You know what that is? Tuna sandwiches. I told you, saltwater pond right here. We eat like kings. All right. Are you not hungry? Uh, I, I should probably sit down. Well, let's sit down and eat. Are we keeping that? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we're keeping that. Gotta get that hook out. All right. All right. Jigger man's got something. What do you got cooking there, Jigger? Ooh, that's heavy. What do you got cooking there? Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have something to wash lunch down with. That can go along with the one I caught 10 minutes ago. All right. Can we, I mean, I think I'm ready to go to the ER. You're fine. You're fine. You'll be better once we've eaten. Oh, you lost your hook in him, huh? Yeah, he swallowed the hook. All right. I'm watch it when I'm drinking it. <laughs> All right, get over here. I got one. Don't want it to break the pull. All right. Oh, jeez. Now we're talking. You you wrangle up V8s. I get us a man's drink right there. See what I'm talking about? And on the back side, what do we got there? Something for our salads. Hey, Macro, get over here and quit crying. Did I not tell you this would be the most productive fishing day of your life? Yep. Did you not catch everything that I told you you'd catch? I caught one in the nose. Oh, I caught one in the ear. So what do you say? I think we're two new best friends. You take one in the mouth like a champ, <laughs> I take one in the ear like a champ, and we're gonna have lunch now. All right, let's eat. Okay, everybody, straight from the lake to the plate and straight from his fist to my face. Uh, I have to hand it to the man. He kicked my ass like a champion. 
And uh, because of that, I want you to do something for me. I want you to have my favorite Swatch. He is definitely an honorary member, if not the king of the Swatch crew. If you don't mind, kind sir, I'd like you to have that. I appreciate that. And for being the man that you are, and taking one like a true champ, it's remarkable, you know? You, you got right back up. That's for you. Well, thank you very much, Terry. We almost forgot. For everybody out there at, uh, in viewer land, it's been a hell of a trip. This man definitely knows what the he's doing on the lake. You know, he's pretty wise with his hands, too. I really apologize about that here. I gotta got apologize. And this episode, we finally got sponsorship. If you don't mind. Well, this episode of Colorado Jiggers was brought to you by Coca Cola. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. For everybody at Colorado Jiggers and my new friend, part of the Swatch crew, Terry Topwater, this is Macro Jigger. We love you and spread love. Fishing rules. blood in my teeth oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and for being the man that you are and taking one like a true champ it's remarkable you know you, you got right back up that's for you <laughs> <laughs> you are a dickhead aren't you <laughs>